Going through the terms in the Fleischner glossary, asinus. Let's take a look at the first part of the definition. The asinus is a structural unit of lung distal to a terminal bronchial and is supplied by first order respiratory bronchioles. It contains alveolar ducts and alveoli. It is the largest unit in which all airways participate in gas exchange and is approximately 6 to 10 millimeters in diameter. One secondary pulmonary lobule contains between 3 and 25 asini. Here's a drawing of the bronchial tree starting at the carina and extending down to the alveolar sacs. Bronchi are the cartilage containing airways generally larger and more central in the lungs compared to bronchioles. Bronchioles are smaller airways that lack cartilage in their walls. Now when you go way, way distal, you get the terminal bronchial, which is the last bronchial that's purely conducting, so it's not involved in gas exchange. And distal to the terminal bronchial, you have these respiratory bronchioles. These do participate in gas exchange and they have little alveoli budding off of their walls. The respiratory bronchioles then branch into alveolar ducts, which open into alveolar sacs, which are clusters of alveoli. So everything distal to the terminal bronchial is considered one asinus which I've drawn in blue here. This whole asinus is about six to 10 millimeters in size, and there's between three and 25 asini in each secondary pulmonary lobule. Let's look at the second part of that definition. Radiographs and CT scans. Individual normal asini are not visible, but asinar arteries can occasionally be identified on thin section CT scans. Accumulation of pathologic material in asini may be seen as poorly defined nodular opacities on chest radiographs and thin section CT images. The poorly defined nodular opacities refers to central lobular ground glass nodules. These can be seen in a variety of disease states, but let me refer you to another video I did about the differential for multiple pulmonary nodules. One example that I like is metastatic pulmonary calcification. In this disease, there's excess serum calcium, which can deposit in tissues in alkaline environments. Metastatic pulmonary calcification likes the upper lungs because there's a higher ventilation to perfusion ratio, resulting in lower PaCO2, therefore higher pH. On CT, you'll see central lobular ground glass nodules, which represent calcium deposition in the walls of the alveoli. And over time, what you'll get is increase in density of these central lobular nodules as the amount of calcium increases. So each one of these nodules represents an asinus or multiple asini. All right, if you have any questions about this topic or any other chest radiology topic, let me know in the comments. Thanks.